Hello, Mr. Mr. Right, right. Yeah. How would you put the data on a piece of paper? For example, like you want to tell your friend, right? What's your name? What's your age? How would you write it on a piece of paper? And you want to send your, you know, put it in an envelope. And you want to give it to other people and then tell your name, your age. How would you write it? I mean, suppose this is a piece of paper. And now how would you write it? This someone. So you write a sentence, right? Can you find out the simplest way just to tell, to let a lot of people know what you want to say? Yeah, okay, are you writing a sentence? Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, so write and you're writing like name, birthday, age, right? And then put them here, right? So uh, let's uh, col color, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, so you. Yeah. Okay, so Henry, okay, so your idea is the writing a sentence, right? All right, obviously, writing a sentence that people can understand it, all right? And write and your, your idea is to write the keywords, right? And people can understand, right? Yes, both are okay. These are both humans, right? So the idea is that we want to come up with a data interchange format. So the easier for humans and for computers to understand. So we want to exchange this data, for example, like the name, the age. Then I will come up with something like this. Yeah? Name, Eric, for example, age. Pen. Okay, look, suppose this format, it's easy to understand, right? Does that sound familiar? The key is very paired. It's a lightweight, lightweight data interchange, interchange format. And that's uh, easy for computers and also for and humans to understand. The computers, uh, we have an efficient algorithm to pass this uh, string, the text format. This is a simple text. And this is quite similar to the dictionary in Python. So that, that's the format that we are going to talk shortly. This is called JSON. It's very popular. It's a format, text format that uh, we used usually to store and transfer the data between the client and the server. So for example, the computer here, right? In the browser, have you seen the login window? Yeah, login window. The username, the password, and there's a login button, right? Okay? So when you put an Eric here, and the password 1234, obviously this needs to be encrypted, right? And then you click login, what happened? So the, your computer in your browser will send the request to the server. Server in the cloud, right? What's cloud? Remember, lots of computers somewhere, right? For example, the cloud, the computer may be in London. How does this uh, data exchange so you could be in this JSON format. JSON is one of the possibilities, right? So you could be constructing a, a format, name Eric age 10. And then the cloud takes it, and then you'll be able to extract the information, the name and the age. Uh, and the password, okay? We are talking about the password here. Okay, so this is the thing, data in the change format. So, so in Python, we can use this import JSON, and then we can say JSON, Dot loads. We can load a, a JSON format, pass it, and store it into the variable. Or we can do this opposite, which is dump. We can dump the variable and into a JSON format string. JSON contains the object or array. There are two possibilities. One, you know, one is this curly brace with the key value pairs, right? Each value could be Another object or array, so it could be nested. So you can have a name, you know, like an alias, something like that. Right? And the keys quoted by double code, right? Double codes only. But in Python, you can do it in single code. But JSON, the standard JSON format, the keys should be quoted in double code. The values could be an array, the numbers, right? Okay. And an array, okay? So we talk about the array. In Python, what, what's the array? Using this, one, two, this is array, right? So this is a value JSON, and this, we can say uh, numbers, right? One, two, three, this is a JSON, right? And uh, foo, F-O-O, -O, and then you could have another object, and that will be have another bar, 
uh, array one two or full bar. What's what's next? P, T T. Okay, and then there will be values. Some one two three. Okay, so you see, the curly brace comes in pairs. Right, the the array. This is like the, this the we we define an array in Python. The numbers. So the numbers, the values, we can have the numbers, one, two, three. We can have a value, string, string, hello, right? Quote it in double quotes. Or we can have a three special uh, constant value, which is true, false, and noon. What's noon? What does this word mean? Noon, what does it mean? Nothing. Nothing, noon. True, false, noon, three values. And one thing about JSON is that we don't have comments. What's comment? When you write the Python code, you start with a hashtag. And everything after, the computer will just ignore it. That's for humans. You can say, okay, Eric is amazing. Okay? And then computer will use this uh, sharp sign and will ignore it. It's not part of the code. But in, in JSON, you can't have comments. Everything is data. Right? Everything is data. So you can have something like that. Right? Look. So standard JSON format only store, stores two possibilities. One is the object, the other one is an array. Yeah? But some other standards allow the, you know, just storing the values, literals. Okay. Okay, so one last question. What have you learned today? What's JSON? And can you both write a simple JSON here? The easiest JSON. And that's it. What's JSON? Can you write an example of JSON? Just test your knowledge. That's it. Ryan, you want to have a go? Simple JSON. Remember, what did I talk about? The JSON. Just simple JSON. I'm drawing a pig. Yeah, okay. So what's JSON? What can you write the simplest JSON for that? You can do it very simple and that's it. You know, what did I talk about? The objects and array. What's the simple, what's the empty object? What's the empty array? How do you declare an object dictionary in, in Python? How do you declare empty arrays in Python? What's the key value pair, remember? You start with a double quote and then what? A string can be a valid JSON. What? What do you want to write a, a JSON? Come on, write anything. Write it. Name. Okay. Okay, come on, okay. But if this is the key, you have to do this with the, you're missing one this, curly brace. Okay, and then curly brace to end it, and you can add, add more. This is JSON, this is not, okay. Look, 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 remember, JSON. This is a JSON. This is a JSON. This is a JSON. All this one, two, three is a JSON. All true, all true, false, or new, right? Now, so can you write a pick one? Yeah. Just pick one, yes. Okay. What's what's this? How do you input this in computer? Um. <laughs> there's there's no such thing as this. What's this? Blah. <laughs> Eight is a number, right? Okay then, how about? Is that how we store and transport the data, the format, right? Like, like the, the, at the beginning you said uh, you want to tell the name, column, Ryan, age, birthday, something like that. And people can understand, right? Because it sim if you simply give the values, people may not understand what it is, am I right? If you write a 9 on a piece of paper, give it to Eric. Eric may not understand what the 9 meaning is. You have to put the age before it, am I? So this is for computer to understand your data. This is the JSON object, array, string, values, numbers, and this is three special meanings. Okay. Yeah. Well done on this, yeah. Curly brace is for object. This is the keys. This is the value. It's like a dictionary in Python, right? Mm -hmm. In Python, how do you de declare a dictionary? 
How do you declare addition? You just do this, right? Like, uh, you, you just do this. A equals, this is a dictionary, right? Yeah? And we talk about default dictionary, right? Yeah? It's the same thing, yeah? The only thing that is so special about this is the JSON format. The keys has to be encoded with double quotes, but in Python, you don't have to uh, stick to the double quote. It could be a single quote, right? JSON, what does this stand for? JavaScript object notation, okay? JavaScript. JavaScript, this is another programming language, you just know it's a programming language. JavaScript, object notation. Uh, okay? okay? Okay, so what have you learned today? That's it. You learned the JSON from it. What is this? That's one what, sentence. For sending, for sending information? Yeah, for sending information uh, to a computer, yeah? For, uh, for, for computer yeah. to store and transport the data. And this format is also easy to understand for humans, am I right? Yeah? Okay? <laughs> What's that post? <laughs> and that's it for today, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.